Hi everybody, it's Friday today and it's the 1st of May, the, the new month. Okay, so we're in reading at the moment and that's, I'm still hoping you're choosing the just right books for you, not too easy and not too hard. Today is Friday. We got that Friday feeling. Okay, our learning intention, making inferences when we read. Success criteria, I can use clues from the text and my prior knowledge to figure something out. Okay, what's an inference? Using clues and what we know to figure something out. So I think something because something. You need to make sure you're giving evidence. Okay, you need to use the clues in your prior knowledge to say why you thought that. Okay, let's remember that looking to this side over here, Okay, so these are your thinking stems. These are some of the ways that you can start your sentences to make your inferences. Okay, um, I like these ones the most. I'll point them out. My guess is that's a really good one. Maybe, perhaps, I infer or I conclude that. They're my favourite ones out of those stems. Okay, we infer. These are the four things that we can infer when we're reading it. We can infer feelings. There are so many feelings that characters go through in in books. Okay, so many different emotions, and we can see it from from the pictures, but we can also see it from the words. You know, and some of the things that they say, and how they say it. It might say "cried," Bob, or "shouted," Lucy. So, depending on the words as well, we can infer how they're feeling from some of the words as well, not just the pictures. Why things have happened. We can infer where the characters are. Pictures will be really helpful for that as well. But if I said to you, if the page said, and there was no pictures, and the page said the waves were crashing into the sand and there were umbrellas and people everywhere, where can you infer that I am? At the beach, yeah. I didn't say that I was at the beach, but you're, we are using the clues that were there. Okay, what is happening as well is something else that you can infer to. So there was my example. I put this here again because you would have seen the first part of the book by now. Okay, and if you haven't seen the next video of me finishing off the book and making more inferences, you can watch that after this. Okay, so after you've watched that video, it's your turn now. So we're not going to do any more task cards, but your task, oh, don't mind Thursday. That's meant to be Friday, 1st of May. Um, your task is to make some inferences with the book that you're reading now as well. And, and this time we're going to post it on the stream. Okay, so there's your stems there. I infer that. My guess is maybe perhaps I conclude that. You can use one or maybe a couple. And you can say and say one of the inferences that you made. Okay, so there's no there's no video of a task explanation. This is your ex explanation right now. Okay, so this is our last day for inferences, and we're going to be moving on to something different next week. Okay, happy Friday, everybody.